Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. The Suzuka International Racing Course is seen as one of the most demanding ones in the Formula One calendar by most of the Formula One drivers. And this also applies for the engineers on their quest for perfect aerodynamic adjustments. The whole shape of the car is designed to enable perfect airflow around the bodywork, which means the lowest possible drag and still the maximum amount of downforce. By adjusting these wings more steeply, the driver gets more downforce and grip, which is good in the various turns on this track. This, however, means normally a loss of top speed on the straightaways. So, a lot of expertise and intuition is necessary to find an aerodynamic setup for speed and safety. However, it is another popular circuit among the drivers. What do you think, Nico? I'm also really looking forward to Japan, to Suzuka. I've heard great things about the circuit. On the simulator, it seems a very nice circuit. Um, the SS turn 4, 5, 6 are very great to drive, and it is one of those circuits for driver, you know, where you're just enjoying yourself with the car. Providing, of course, that the car gives the driver everything he wants. Good grip in fast turns, as here in Dunlop Corner. Good tyres that can withstand the great demands made of them in Suzuka, and enough top speed for the fast straights. Ahead of the Grand Prix, the teams work separately on the perfect package for their cars and drivers. We don't make tyres in Williams and we don't make engines either, so those two things, we can't directly influence them. But we can influence the, the aerodynamics and that's what we spend all of our time doing. The FIA rules don't allow the teams much leeway here, but even the most minor change, for example, to the front wing can have a major effect. At critical spots like Spoon Curve, that can provide a key advantage or be a decisive drawback. At the Casio Triangle chicane near the end of the lap, taking the ideal line is vital to reaching top speed on the following straight. It leads on to the next lap, and after a good 307 kilometers, the checkered flag. So I'm sure you're going to thoroughly enjoy every single lap of the race. I definitely will. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.